Hello everyone, this video is all about to upload a project to GitHub repository. Okay, for example, we have this project and we would like to upload it to the GitHub repository. So to upload it for that, um, we need first of all the Git. Okay, you should install Git from this uh, official website of Git uh, version control system. Okay, let's check it. I have already installed it. Look at git bash, git ui, and git cmd. Just download it, come here to the download section and download it. After downloading it, just first of all install it. This is the first requirement for to use git um, with VS code, okay, to upload a project. And for the se second, we will just create a repository inside our uh, GitHub, okay. First of all, you should have your account, GitHub account. Open your account in github.com website. After opening your account, come here and press this new button to create a new repository. So let's press new. So let's assign a name to our um, repository. Let's, for example, name it typing, typing game. This is the name of our repository. And here we have uh, public and private. If you make it public, so everyone can access it. And if you make it private, just you can, and the those who, can, who has the permission can access this repository. And press create repository to create this uh, repository. So the repository has been made. So after creating this repository, let's come here now to our uh, project. So this is our project that we have opened inside VS Code. So also we will show to you how to use dot git ignore. Okay, just come here to dot git ignore. After coming to dot git ignore, here you can specify those files, those uh, folders, those directories that you don't want to upload to GitHub repository. Okay, for example, node modules. Here we have all the dependencies and the packages, libraries that we have installed, the code of that. So we don't want to upload this one. Okay, so we would like to uh, ignore it. And also there are other some files that we would like to ignore them by default this is this is react project okay this is react project by default whenever we uh, just create react project so it uh, add this data git ignore if the data git ignore is not existed inside your project just create this dot git ignore file after creating that if you would like to for example we would like to ignore this folder dot node uh, node modules this folder so for that simply write like this node module so it will ignore that if you want to um just for example, you would like to ignore all the files which has dot log extension. So for that steric dot log, it means the name, whatever is the name, so dot log extension. So it will remove all the dot, dot ignore all the dot log uh, extensions. And this is um, which is related to a specific package like npm debug dot log, yarn debug, yarn error debug, debug. And this log and steric mean whatever character is with that. So skip these um, files also and also the files which has dot log extension and the dot log uh, also the logs directory if there was existed right now we don't have the log um, um, uh, repository uh, uh, directory okay so let's remove these all things because we don't have these and just we would like to ignore the uh, node modules so we don't have all these things remove all these things so we just want to ignore node modules folder this folder so for that we specified node modules so this is the dot git ignore how to use it <coughs> now let's move to the terminal to upload it to the uh, github repository control back tick or come here to the terminal and press new terminal make it like this so after coming to this project now let's first of all initialize git so to initialize the git for that we will just write git where where it has come yeah, that is okay. Git init. So it will initialize git. Press enter. Initialize empty git repository. So the git has been initialized. Look at the folder has been changed. So the second command is that we will just add these all files to stage. Okay, we will stage these files. So for that, let's write git add dot. So it will dot means to just uh, add all the uh, files. Let's press so all files warning in the working copy of dot is this lf will be replaced by yeah that is okay so all has been changed look at this um, character the u has changed to a it means this has added to staging area now let's add just a commit them okay so to commit them for that we will use uh, the commit command git commit 
minus m we will add a message initial for example this is the initial commit and press enter so by pressing enter we have paste with an error so let's let's check to the uh, the error just come here uh, it says run yeah so uh, uh, this error is because it says just specify your username and your email who has changed these who make these changes okay for that purpose it need to uh, specify the user name and user email so let's first of all copy this command can to see that paste that so we will just what happened here yeah uh, enable where is this yeah yeah that is okay now let's paste it so git config global user email instead of this u we will just write our email for example gmail.com so i have just uh, wrote this email okay you can write the email that you want muhammad yusuf masroor at gmail.com this is my email so let's press enter that has been added now let's copy the second command git config global yeah i will just write it let's just change this user dot name and here i will write yusuf so that is okay okay git config um minus minus global hash hash global user dot name yourself press enter so that has been added now let's use the commit command okay commit initial press enter see the error has been gone and we have committed our first um we have just committed okay uh, first and this was the message the initial one so this was the commit command let's write a c yeah cls to clear the screen so now we will just connect it with our github repository okay so connect it with that let's write git remote add origin so here we will paste the url of our github repository just come here to our uh, back to the browser and here the the repository okay typing game that we have created just come here look at here we have this url let's just copy this url copy the url after copying the url by pressing this button you can copy it so just come here back to the terminal and press ctrl v now let's press add button see we have added this to the um, url okay to our uh, github repository the last command that we will learn to push it to our github repository so to push it to our github repository let's write git push as you region master so this the master is the branch okay we will use the master branch if you are using uh, any other name of for your branch so you can specify that but we would like to um, just use the master branch so let's press enter let's wait for it until it, it push all the this project this code to our um, github repository yeah now we should verify it okay we should verify it so let's sign in so let's sign in with uh, with browser okay if you don't have account you can press sign up button but we have the account so let's press sign in with your browser yeah it will just move to the authorization page yeah authorize git ecosystem so we will just authorize it press this button so you are being redirected to authorize application the string binding is invalid so where is the error so let's move let's move okay back come here to the code so git uh, info please complete authentication in your browser enumerating object 19 done continue object 100 percent done mm, delta compression let's move now and we just want to uh, refresh our repository we have yeah this is the code yeah that we have pushed we have public src slnet git ignore index.html package digestion all those files and uh, folders that we had we have here right now okay we have inside this src we have that um, code the files the in components yeah this code let's check it inside that also come here to the src we have this code these components so it is how we can push our repository our project to github repository
and i hope you learn about how to push and how to upload a project to github repository and you learn something from this video if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel uh thanks for watching